Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to your week ahead reading. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to have a look at the next 7 to 10 days roughly, just keeping in mind whenever you come across this message. Um, just look at the following days, okay? And some things may have already happened for some. Some things are in progress currently. Others are yet to come. Just keeping in mind about timing. And you're going to have to take the messages as they resonate for you. You know your own situation, all right? These are general readings, and I'm reading the energy. I'll be giving you examples of how this could be playing out so that you can have an idea and then hopefully recognize it in your own life with whatever you have going on. All right. All that being said, let's see what's going on for my subscribers in the week ahead. So Temperance, Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands flipped over as I was saying that. And there's a message here to hang in there. Something's taking longer than what you thought it would or longer than what you'd hoped. Um, but the message is hang in there. It's coming. You're going to have to, the advice anyway, is to just keep, uh, keep going. Maintain the course you're on. Basically keep carrying the burden that you're carrying for a little while longer if, if you want this whatever this outcome is that's taking some time to come together, right? It's saying it's still, there's still work being done on it. It's still um, in progress. Things are um, are happening. It's not dead, right? Um, but it just needs a little while longer. So if you wanted this, this is saying you're going to have to maintain the course a little while longer. Or if you wanted to switch course and find something else, absolutely you can. But I feel like there's a message here for someone to say, it's not over, it's not dead, right? Just, it, most of it might be going on behind the scenes. So to you, it looks like, well, that's it. That's a dead end. That's not going to go anywhere. When in reality, there's still something working there. All right. Interesting. So let's see what we got going on here for my subscribers in the week ahead. For my subscribers in the week ahead what's the week about what's going on for those of you who are new welcome those of you returning who've been here before welcome back if you don't know i have a second channel that's a pisces exclusive channel so wherever you have pisces in your chart you could resonate with the messages over there we do daily readings over there as well so let's see. All right. First card representing the influence of the past on our current situation. What? <laughs> That's the daily message. Oh, I think because I was talking about the daily reading. All right. So for some of you, this has already happened. Um, for others of you, this talks about the outcome to something. But the chariot is a victory energy. It could represent um, a cancer energy in your life, sun, moon, rising. It could be you if you have cancer in your chart. This could also talk about travel, actual travel, actual movement, um, a focus on logistics, transportation, trips, flights, um, cars this weekend, but also some sort of victory and triumph within a situation that's been long overdue or in progress for a long time because the chariot talks about perseverance. It's an overcoming of obstacles. It's victory through perseverance and dedication and staying the course, right? Which is what we were talking about in the pre-shuffle. So for some of you, that's what this is. It's confirming, yes, you're about to see a victory. You're about to have a victory in that thing that you've had to really stick with. And you've questioned at times, should you give up? Walk away, shut it down. Um, that's the situation that is about to see some sort of either significant movement or actually reaching conclusion. All right, so let me get some oracles. I've got a new deck for my subscribers. And then we'll get going. All right, so we'll look at these at the end. At the bottom, we have believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and your dream and what you're trying to achieve. I just get this message, okay, for this week that it's not over. Um, it's not a dead end. Um, 
to just persevere basically, to just keep going. But let's see what else we're getting. So in the beginning of the week, as we're coming into the week, okay, so that could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday type of energy if you wanted to try to split it by days. But again, just keep it in mind, okay? Uh, Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like in the beginning of the week, there's a test. There's a test coming um, where... You could be dealing with someone who's putting you on the spot with the Queen of Swords and kind of making you make a decision, right? Do you still want to work on this or no? Are you still going to pursue this or no? This is someone who is very much a no-nonsense type of energy. And I feel like they're saying, it could be something where they're saying you've been looking at this other thing that's been taking forever and in the meantime you're distracted from what we're trying to do. So you're either you either you're in this or you're not. Okay. So I feel like there's a bit of an ultimatum type of energy. Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, really putting you on the spot of listen, we need you to do your part. Stop daydreaming over there. Or um, just look at what you're doing. That thing's not happening for you. It's not bringing you any sort of results. And we need you over here. So what's it going to be? Oh, interesting. I really feel like someone's putting you on the spot. And basically say, saying, because you're focused on this other thing that's been taking forever, you're not present and contributing where they want you to be or where they expect you to be. Because it's um, some sort of putting you on the spot, some sort of decision, some sort of ultimatum, some sort of what is happening, what are you doing um, around a group effort, a team dynamic, a, a collaborative effort, right? And I feel like someone feels like you're not doing your part because you're distracted. Because the chariot here does talk about keeping opposing forces going together in the same direction, right? So keeping two things, right, going towards the same direction. So you might have been doing something in parallel to this situation here, right? So you have a nine-to-five job. You've been working on getting your business set up. And this could be your manager at your job saying, what the hell's going on? You're distracted. You're tired. They may or may not know they've got something on the side, but they're basically saying, do you want this job or not? Are you going to do this job or not, right? If you're in a relationship and at the same time you're trying to get your studies or your personal projects off the ground or, or again, some sort of business or trying to get your career ready or working on a side project for yourself, right? This could be where your partner or your spouse is saying, where are you? We never see you or I never see you. You don't, you know, do your part etc etc what the hell are you doing what's going on right because again they may or may not know that you have this other thing that you're trying to get off the ground and it could be that kind of conversation of what's going on all right so midweek we have the magician so this could be a very open honest conversation where everything is put on the table this could be the presentation you've been putting together this could be you putting something on display five of swords Oh, and the five of wands. So this is, it feels like someone's forcing your hand. And it could be linked to this earlier conversation, right? It could be someone's forcing your hand to tell them what it is you've been doing. Um, or to reveal what it is you've been working on in secret or private, right? Um, five of wands and five of swords is an energy of, I'm going to step in this competition, but I don't feel like I'm prepared. I feel rushed, but I'm going to do this, right? Because I feel like someone's forcing your hand. So this could be, okay, I'm just going to put together my, my application. I'm going to submit my bid. I'm going to submit my presentation. Um, I'm going to start sending my resume out there. I don't feel like I'm 100% ready to do this, but because of this ultimatum over here, I feel like I have to do something with this. Um, especially if you've been kind of procrastinating, right? Because you're afraid of things not going well, for example. And so you've been in that mode of constantly perfecting and constantly improving um, and editing and editing and editing, right? When this situation over here puts you on the spot and it gives you some sort of ultimatum, it feels like it's forcing your hand to complete this, to go with it, to submit it, and whatever happens, happens. 
Um, because I just feel like something's got to give here. All right. Towards the end of the week, we have the Tower, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. It's, the, it's a similar energy of hanging in there, whether the storm, whether the conflict. Let me just get this to focus a little better. Yeah, whether the storm, whether the conflict, hold your ground because you do have this opportunity coming, Ace of Pentacles. That's what you want. That's what you've been working for. I just feel like if you've been working on something in secret, you will be, it feels like you'll, your hand will be forced to reveal it sooner than what you would like. And yes, it can be tension and it can be chaos and conflict, but it can also be where you have been planning a surprise for someone and they're now accusing you of lying or I don't know stepping out on them or because they're like where are you I never see you you're always shady you're always hiding things whenever I walk in the room what the hell right um so it could be that you're having to go through with the surprise either go through with the surprise faster than you planned or tell them right calm down I'm working on something it's a surprise right? And that could just be what this is. But for others of you, I do feel like you're going to feel put on the spot or actually be put on the spot to, um, to do your part, to contribute. And it's something that you have one foot in because you have one foot in a different situation that is taking longer to develop than what you thought and hoped and prepared for. So you have A and B, right? You got one foot in A, one foot in B. You're waiting for B to come together. B is your true passion. B is your true desire. That's what you really want. In the meantime, A, you're just going through the motions, right? Because you need to get paid. You need to have a paycheck or whatever the situation is. Now, A is going to start demanding more from you or um, putting you on the spot in terms of you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're not doing enough or give you an ultimatum to just reveal talk about why you're not all in right something like that because they this is someone who feels like you're taking either taking advantage or slacking or um leading them on somehow stringing them along somehow right and they're angry like this a queen of swords five swords this is an angry person it's like what the hell you're taking me for a fool what's going on right i deserve to know the truth um and it just it feels like if it's if this is about the same thing and you've just been planning something in secret, working on something as a surprise, um, whatever it is, it's a case of you're going to have to reveal it sooner than what you would like. And for others of you where it's two separate things and you're trying to hold on to one until hopefully the other one comes through, this could be what is making you doubt and question. Should I just walk away from that? Should I just give up on that because it's not going anywhere? And in the meantime, I have pressure put on me from this direction. In that case, that's where the chariot comes in and it's asking you to see what you can do with the magician to give a little meet in the middle with someone somehow, but not give up on your second option because it is coming together. Does that make any sense? Like, maybe reveal a little bit, maybe do a little bit more, maybe agree to do a little bit more, I don't know, to keep things going. If it's a case where, for some of you, you're going to give up on whoever it is that's putting pressure on you or whoever is giving you ultimatums, um, with the Tower and the Nine of Wands, you may say, you know what, I'm not doing this. If you're threatening me and you're giving me ultimatums, I'm out. End of story, right? Now, as you're doing that, your new opportunity could be coming in or this is a case of that's what is needed for the new opportunity to come in. The fact that you're undecided, the fact that you're still trying to do two things at the same time, the fact that you're still holding on to one thing doesn't leave room for the new to come into your life. Does that make sense? So if you're still 
in that relationship, for example, that you don't want to be in, it's kind of dead, you're just going through the motions at this point, you're fully aware, at the same time you're trying to manifest your true love, or at the same time you could be dealing with like an on-again, off-again situation, and you've just started talking to someone new, and you feel like there's something there, but it's just moving very slowly. They could be traveling or whatever it is, right? The new thing won't take off while you're still dealing with the past, okay? So the new thing might be aware that you're still talking to someone and they're keeping their distance because they're like, well, I don't think they know what they want, right? So I'm just going to stay over there until they do. So there could be a situation where you have to release whatever this crush is, whatever it is that you've been holding on that's kind of been dead, and you're just going through the motions, and not only, you don't want to be there, and it, you're just going through the motions, they're now putting more pressure on you, right? That could be the, the final, like, the breaking point for you to go, you know what, I'm out, I didn't want this anyway. And for some of you, that's exactly what is missing in order for the new thing to come into your life. Right? If you're entertaining something or someone that's not right, not what you want, not, you're, you're not being treated properly, you're not being paid adequately, you're not being seen and appreciated and valid for who you are, but you're kind of just, you know, it's best to have something, right, type of attitude, while at the same time trying to manifest what you really want, trying to work on that and get it going. The new can't come into your life while you're still holding space for this thing, while you're still in this thing, while you're still giving energy to this thing that you're fully aware you don't even want, really, if you're going to be honest with yourself, right? So it's a very kind of sobering situation. And when this person or group of people starts putting pressure on you, I feel like that's going to be the enlightenment with the tower that gives you the strength and the courage to say, you know what, I don't know if the new thing's coming in or not, but I know for a fact I don't want to be dealing with this anymore. And what you'll find is that will turn the wheel and you will have either the thing you've been hoping for and working towards coming in or something new coming in. That is what you want. It is what you deserve. Why? Because you took a stand nine of wands and you said, enough, this isn't what I want. This isn't what I deserve. I don't care about this. I have to be honest. Find someone else. It's not me. I'm going to go find what makes me happy, what is on my level, what I deserve right? And that's when it can come in. So I hope that makes sense. So let's see what we have in the oracles. We have listen to the messages of your dreams with believe in yourself. Yeah. Spend some time on self-care. And it's okay to say no. Yeah. So for some of you, there's people going to be putting pressure on you from a situation or a direction that you don't even want to go towards and it's breaking point right where it's like you know what I don't even want to be here I don't even want this why am I putting myself through this and that either gives you the spark and the courage and the strength to completely release it and walk away and just go figure out what really makes you happy what you really really want or it will put you in a position where new and better things can come in because you're looking because you're actively open and looking all right you're no longer holding on to a crutch okay so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting but yeah it looks like wherever you've been trying to do two things at the same time or if you've been going through any sort of bid process application process um Whatever it is, it's something that, again, you're doing something just to fill in the blanks, just to go through, you know, you're going through the motions with it. It's something just to have something there, right? But you're not passionate about it. It's not what you want to do. It's not who you really are. Um, it's not what you really want to be pursuing, not what makes you happy, right? And for some of you, it could be that you're not sure of that, and that's why you're not releasing it. Um, and when this happens, this pressure, this ultimatum, this conflict, if you need to be doing more, you need to be here more, you need to be doing this and that and the other, that makes you realize, like, why am I even doing this? I, this isn't even something I want to do. Like, why, you know? Um, and that is then what frees you up. 
it makes you think, what do I really want to do? Where do I really want to go? Who do I really want to be? Right? And then there's definitely, you've been getting signs, you've been getting messages in your dreams. Um, spending time alone in meditation or prayer or contemplation is going to get you messages. Um, is going to give you the confirmation that you're looking for, okay? But you're definitely saying, no, I'm done, I'm out, to something that has kind of died out a while ago, or it's just not really what you want to be doing. It's something, it could be that it's something that was supposed to be temporary while your big thing was coming in, and it just ended up being what you've been doing for the past few years. But the, because of the split focus and the split energy, right, the new thing hasn't been able to come together properly for you because it needs you to be all in, okay? Even if it's just in your mind, like I've made the decision, I know what I truly want to do. I know for a fact that this is temporary. I'm not going to put that much energy into it. But at the same time, you're going to choose something that's not going to be that demanding, right? And really focus on what you're trying to do, what you're trying to bring together. Um And for others of you, this is something that, again, you've kind of been holding on to until something better comes along. And because of the added pressure and because of the added stress, you're just going to go, you know, what? I don't even want this anymore. So I was planning to quit next month, but I'm just going to quit this month and just find myself something else, right, until the right thing comes in. Or as, as you're doing this, the right thing comes in anyway. Does that make sense? Okay. So um, interesting reading. But uh, it's really, really good because it looks like this is something that has to happen. This is something that's meant to happen. Um, this is something that you've been procrastinating on and delaying and avoiding uh, because it's not fun and it's not comfortable. Absolutely comfortable. Change isn't comfortable. Um, but at the same time, it looks like you're getting that final push, you know, to go, this isn't, this isn't even what I want. So why am I dealing with this drama? Why am I dealing with this stress? Why am I allowing this person to put pressure on me when it's not even what I want? You know, and that gives you the freedom to go, that's it, I'm out, I'm done. And go pursue what you truly want to do, what truly makes you happy. It either makes you crystal clear on what you truly want by comparison to what you don't want, um, or you actually have the option you were hoping for coming in finally, or some sort of option coming in that matches what you really want to do. Okay, it puts you on that path because you've set a, a full stop, you've set a hard pass to whatever is not what you want. Okay, and that's what the universe needed to see and hear from you to bring you what you want. All right, so I hope this helps you. Looking forward to your thoughts, your feedback. Let me know in the comments what you got going on and how you resonate with this if you do. Um, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.